Dear Sarah Ann Vidak, that will be the last time I say that name. I never could have imagined that the cute girl I sat next to in Mrs. Browning's class would be the same girl standing across from me at the altar. I mean, I could imagine it, but I never thought this sassy volleyball player would be the life partner I could only dream of. I think it's a perfect match. You're the life of the party, always lighting up the room with an infectious smile and personality. And I'm the guy that has to be hyped up to leave the house for an afternoon. We've been through a lot of life challenges together at a very young age, but it only made our bond stronger. No matter what was thrown at us, we had each other to turn to for a smile, a laugh, or a quick cry to get it out of our system. The perseverance you showed in our relationship made me fall so deeply in love with you and made it impossible to imagine spending any second of my life without you. As we step into married life tonight, I have three very important promises to make to you. I promise I won't let you go a day without a dog in your life, but don't get your hopes up. I don't have a surprise puppy waiting for you at home, but we do have Bentley waiting and he'll be so excited to see his parents married. I also promise to always make you smile, no matter how mad, sad, or frustrated you are. I know you think I'm too goofy and never serious, which is fair, um, but sometimes it's necessary. My final promise is to make sure you feel loved every day. I don't think of today as the end goal for our relationship. It's more like the starting line to an amazing life together as the Porters. And I know that the rest of our lives together will be full of love, growth, and commitment to keeping your beautiful smile shining bright. I love you so much, and I'm so glad to be back in these mountains where our love blossomed. Love, Cody. Cody Michael Porter. Our love story is eight years in the making, and today, well today is by far my favorite day yet. When we first met at 15, I never would have guessed that the teasing and playful friendship would grow to become a love that has far exceeded my dreams. When I was 15, I fell in love with your sweet personality, caring heart, and foolishly funny jokes. I didn't think it was possible, but today, I love you more than I have ever before. My biggest blessing has been watching you grow into the best version of yourself. You are a man that I'm so blessed to call my best friend and now partner for life. You've shown me not only what it means to be loved unconditionally, but that I deserve nothing less than that from anyone. Growing up, my mom always taught me two important things about love and marriage. She taught me first to marry a man who loves and respects his mother, for this will be a direct reflection of how he will treat you. The second and most important thing she taught me was that she was always right. She may not have gotten your name right at first, but she was always right about the man you were. Although she isn't here today, I hope you know how much she loved you and how happy she is knowing that you will continue to take care of me. You have loved me on my best days and worse through some of my darkest times and greatest adventures. You've been the reason behind my smile since the day our love story began. The last eight years haven't always been easy, but they are easily the best years of my life. I can't wait to start this next chapter of life together as your wife. I could not ask for a better person to grow old with as we live the dreams we've been creating and changing. Well, <laughs> let's be honest, monthly. Cody Michael Porter, I promise to always be your best friend. I promise to never stop laughing at your jokes and supporting your dreams. And last but not least, I promise to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. Love your wife in an hour. <laughs>
family and friends, it is with a honor and my pleasure I present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Cody and Sarah Ann Porter. Woo! Woo!